Good morning on Monday. I am just starting a new vlog. Um, apologies for the last, the gap between the last vlogs was two weeks and I've been trying to do them every couple of days just to keep it a bit more updated. Um, but more of which of why and all that sort of stuff coming up in this vlog. Uh, those of you who've been asking, that is Louise. <laughs> um, she's my niece who helps me out. I call her and go, Lou, help me. We have been sorting um, a ton of stuff for charity. Essentially, when the Grenfell Tower uh, horrific incident happened, I said on my private Facebook, if any beauty people want to donate, I can. I live nearby, I'll drop it off. By the time people had got stuff to the office, they had closed donations because they were inundated, which is amazing, but it meant that I had a lot of stuff in the office. So I contacted everyone and said, do you mind if I give it to Give and Make Up and Refuge? Of course they all said, no, give it where there's need. And that case is huge and packed. So we are, we're still sorting boxes now. By the way, not all of that is for charity in case you've sent something in and you're like why is she giving that away um so we're sorting that and then i'm going to get on with editing the vlog so by the time that goes up it should be tomorrow tonight i am filming with trini um trini woodall at her house we're doing a facebook live god help me so i will definitely film some of that if i can get a word in edgeways and a uh, nice shout out to the spots that came up this morning because i again tried a cream that i knew was too rich for me do i ever learn no i was thinking that'd be fine no fine the side i sleep on spots hi everyone it is monday afternoon and i'm home as you'll be able to tell by the noise there is so much screaming going on in this house jim is shouting in the in, singing in the shower ava is fighting with her big brothers because they're both here for once so like full-on throwing each other down on the floor fist fighting and screaming it's very nice i'm about to leave i'm going to see trini which will probably be less violent but just as loud um i've packed some favorite bits that she's requested i talk about um i think you just have to be open for anything and be very calm because trini is not Hans is finally here trini keeps calling me herons herons <laughs> i'm gonna correct her on Stop. air like here we are as opposed to let me hire out the staff oh that's the difference. Then you want to do here we are instead of hire out the staff. That's how it should be. Here on. Can you tell that to my husband and all of his generations of families that came before him? Yeah, I'm that'd be sure great. Thanks. <laughs> but you see, I used to be Holmes, as in Sherlock, so it was easy. Caroline Holmes. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Also, what about Holmes here on? <laughs> can you imagine? C R H H. Needless to say, I'm at Trini's house. <laughs> uh, we're going live in how long? Uh, Ten minutes. Left. Ten, Ten minutes. Go. She's so just done like a full Carrie, facial here. massage, like the whole caboodle. I stand in there having a conversation with her going, I'm sweating and I've been fixing my hair like this. But she came fully way. fucking made up. <laughs> this one is like, yeah, 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 done, yeah, yeah. like massaging the shit out of her skin. Okay, anyway. Anyway. Caroline here is, is here. I'm in my bathroom back in later. <laughs> I'm having a 10 minute okay. sit down before. 10 minutes? You'll be lucky. Five minutes sit down before we get going. But uh, it's so funny uh, being behind the scenes it, right? because yeah. Trini's bathroom yeah. looks like really long and thin when you look at her videos. And it's. Do you know, you've got, you've got good light even here. I know. This what is this? This look, house. Look at this light. It's the dream light house. I'm sitting. Look at this. I'm we could sitting. all be Kate Beckinsale and gonna, Marilyn Monroe. I'm going to turn this around and show you. I'm sitting at the top of the stairs. I know. In a hallway with no window nearby. And how nice. You want to come film all the time. Oh, shit. Compared to, come your, in your bathroom. compared to your cosy yes. corner. shitty office with a bad light and the noisy neighbours. What light do you use? Ring light and some big lights, but they're yeah. all shit. Because do you I not have an outside lighting. window? No, I've been trying to move to an outside window. I've got to move house. I'm, I'm, no, no, not house. Office. Office. Oh, you're trying to which whose who's room you're trying to grab? Well, I keep going around and going. I need that one's on that side. That would be a good okay, window. I need a piss before we start. So. <laughs> Honestly, what is it about the women on my channel who I get? There was Amanda a couple of weeks ago who said I'm just going to go for a waz before we go. Okay, we finished Facebook Live. I tried to to Instagram Live. I'm just checking to see if I can get it to work now. And mine died after about five minutes. You're and a everyone. <laughs> She's Trini, not, mouth like a fishwife, yeah, um, oh, and it go. basically isn't working. So I tried, look, it just kept saying that, checking connection. So if you were trying to watch it via my Instagram live, I am sorry, I apologise. I will maybe do something when I get home, but you won't, you'll have seen all this by then anyway, so pretty pointless. Okay, I'm gonna My God, Trini, the light again. The light again. Look, <laughs> the light here, the light here, okay, the light here. here. Oh my god, I'm moving in. <laughs> Good morning on Tuesday. I am 
oh, still exhausted after last night with Trini. I'm off to get the car serviced, um, which I have done recently. So if you've been watching my vlogs, you'll be like, again? But they there was a fault in a back seat, so they're going to fix that. They're giving me a loaner car, which is a Polo. That's lovely, except I have 27 children and I need the big car, which is this one. See how it all flat packs? That's what we need. So if they do that classic, oh, it's gonna be two weeks, I'm gonna take the loaner car tonight and say, call me when the park comes in and I'll drop this little Polo off to you later. Thanks very much. Okay, I'm in my loaner car, which is a Polo, which after driving my tank feels like I'm literally driving a Dodgem. Um, look at my knees on the steering wheel. <laughs> when I got in, someone who had been ride driving it before me had the seat up really high and I couldn't get in the car and my bun was on the roof. I had to lower the seat and look at my knee. <laughs> He's cracking me up. But it's so different. It's like, it, it. I can see why people buy much smaller cars for the city. I just didn't have a choice because of the size of the kids and stuff, but it accelerates really quickly. It brakes really quickly and it's tiny to park. So those are bonuses, even though I feel like I'm driving a toy car. <laughs> I hope this music isn't too identifiable to YouTube, so I'm going to be very quick and try and turn music down. I'm in Bimba Ilola. I don't even know how you say it properly. This one in Marlebone High Street, and every time I'm in here, I find bags that literally make me go, oh my god, this? I walked past the street, I was like, yeah, I need that bag. Look at that bag. And then this, just a nice little orange number. So, uh, by the way, none of this is sponsored. It costs me a bloody fortune every time I come in here. So poor Cherry is shopping for things she doesn't even know she needs. Back in my car, hurrah! My head doesn't go quite through the ceiling, although my bun still would if it was up. Um, and the steering wheel is above my legs, which I think is much safer, we can all agree. I'm off home, I've got a ton of editing to do. I haven't vlogged. Well, I haven't edited a vlog in like three weeks or two weeks, two and a half weeks, and I've got loads of footage to do. So I'm gonna crack on with that, have some dinner, and I will check in with you tomorrow when I am, what am I doing? Oh, I'm doing good things tomorrow, you'll see. So when I went to Avon's headquarters um, earlier in the year to look at a new product with innovation that's coming out that I can talk about in August, I think, um, there was like some follow-up bits and I'm here today to talk to some of their reps about that product and other things, but this is the presentation. Look, that is their original packaging for the very first retinol product they made and this is the very first Avon catalogue that had it in from 1998. Look at that. So I'm being careful and trying not to destroy it. But this is cool. Look. I love these old vintage ones. I'm behind the scenes at Avon. This is Amanda. Hi. Amanda is Avon's top skincare selling rep in the UK, which means she's very much my people. I'm so excited. How excited are you? I'm so, so excited to be involved in this one. So, you can see behind the kind of thing that's happening, but I am doing a whole video dedicated to this, I think in August. So I'm filming two things today. I'm filming for my August video, I'm filming for the vlog. So you're obviously my vlog people. Um, so if you know Amanda in Belfast, obviously from the accent, I bet there's some Americans going, where is she from? Um, I'm gonna film a bit more later though, so you'll see some of, some of what's happening. It's all very sort of still a big secret and a big surprise, but I'm so happy you're here. I it's nice having a fellow skincare junkie. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yes, more to come. Is this the frame that we need at all times? Yes, don't zoom. It's gorgeous. Zoom. Look at you, gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Oh, oh it was gorgeous. beautiful. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm the filmer today. I'm really I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Not Lauren. Not Lauren. Definitely me. Yeah, like that. Mm. Okay. Two, one, two. Wednesday evening, can't believe we are over halfway through the week already. I don't know where the week's gone. 
I did a talk at a media agency this afternoon after the Avon event, came home, made dinner, and now I'm shooting off to Max's school play, which, thank God, is literally at the bottom of our road. I could throw a ball and hit the building, because I'm so tired. Um, so I am going off to, oh, oh, it's you. I thought it was your naked brother again. Um, I am going off to the school with this one. She's dressed and ready. I, however, have to go and sort myself out. Always waiting for the kids. I'm gonna be late because the kids aren't ready. I'm fully clothed, ready, got my handbag ready, keys in my pocket. Daniel and Ava are still putting their shoes on and we need to be there now. Good morning on Friday. I'm shooting out the door, wearing a bit of yellow for this California girl I'm going to see. I'm having breakfast with Kate Somerville. Oh, I'm so excited! Right, it's Friday morning and as promised, I have the most exciting bloody special guest ever. I mean, she's not actually my special guest. We've just had a cup of tea and some eggs together. But Kate Somerville is in town. Yeah. Literally, like 10 years I've been waiting to meet this woman. <laughs> Literally 10 years. So thank you for making like the best products on earth. Mm. And for finally, hopefully coming back to the UK yes, properly at some so. point. Don't hound me, I don't know. We're not working, I'm just having a nice cup of tea. <laughs> it will be here at some point. It will be somewhere lovely, I'm sure. And you'll be able to buy it. And finally, and maybe some treatments. Treatments. Treatments, treatments, treatments. Our fall thing. <laughs> How exciting is this? Look, Kate Somerville's here. Oh my God. I was so excited about meeting Kate Somerville that I bought myself a huge bunch of flowers for the weekend. I might call them Friday flowers from now on. Um, she is so lovely. I'm like, here comes the train. It's going to be really noisy. very jolly and happy now that I have met Miss Somerville. Right, I'm home and I've slightly calmed down. I have to go to the hairdressers, um, cause it's color time anyway. And I have the DCL talk this evening. So that kills two birds with one stone, but I'm going to get changed into hairdresser clothes just in case they get color on me. I'm going to take all my makeup off and put a thick layer of moisturizer on because when they wash your hair, they wash all your makeup off anyway. And I'm going to do redo my makeup for tonight. So what's the point? So, but first of all, I'm going to put my flowers in vases and pack up my computer so that I can actually edit and upload a vlog while I'm at said hairdressers because frankly it's been too long. I think we can all agree. Oh, we've already had that conversation. I'm on it, don't worry. Right, I am downstairs with Baggers, Nadine, Lauren and Darren from IL8 hiding. Louis is over there <laughs> with space in case, being very rude. Louis is actually famous if you're in England. He was in the Liberty documentary ever so much. Now he's cringing. It's a rival store. No, it's not. <laughs> it's a competitor. It's Louis. Hello. Come to United, right? Mm -hmm. Hi. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> this is Jess, who will be given the camera, but will probably forget to film anything ever not again. today. <laughs> Where are we? And this is Cherry, my handbag queen, if you watch my Instagram <laughs> stories. And we're going to sit and yap about skincare for about 27 hours. The industry needs to get on board with the fact that it's 2017 and you guys are way more educated than we were 20 years ago. And way more skeptical. We need to know ingredients. We don't believe the hype. You know, if you're using a supermodel who's half my age to sell me a cream that's for my Not demographic, that's for my demographic, it just pisses me off. Sorry, Space and K, I lost for 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just, it just makes me like, where is the sense in that? You're not talking to me, you know, and then if you go to a website and there's no ingredients, I'm always skeptical and I think, well, that's useless. So then I have to go and try and find them from a blogger, you know, to try and find ingredients. But it's just nice to be able to, the, the funniest part for me of the trip, the most telling part was when we did the round table, we did it in their sort of conference room and they had all the product on display in the hall. And Nadine and I walked in, and it was almost like locusts. We went, they don't have that in England. They don't have that in England. We don't have that in England. And I'm going, Nadine, you've seen them all. You've seen them all. You've seen them all. <laughs> so then the, all you had was me, Nadine, and B and Vic. And who else was on the trip? Claire, Claire Coleman. Coleman. Yeah. Now, if you think we're back, Claire Coleman, if you haven't done a clinical trial, she's not going to come to your office. <laughs> she's just like, where's the evidence? <laughs> Good afternoon on Friday. I had a mixed bag this morning. Things going haywire and stuff to sort out at home and stuff. 
So I was going to go and do the big food shop, which means I now probably have to do it over the weekend, which really bugs me. I like to do it and have it done so my weekends are clear for sorting and chilling and cooking. And but that's fine. I am now going to film with Dr. Murad, who is in town. So I'm, my car will be here in a second. I'm going to go and ask him. I think I'm going to ask him five questions and use that going forward as a sort of basis of any industry interviews I do. So it's instead of doing five minutes, because let's all face it, there's nothing I can say in five minutes. I could go for four hours. So I thought five questions, and they can be either ones from you or ones that I've always really wanted to know about the brand, but it keeps it concise. There's only so long you can talk per answer, I think. I'll see how that plays out, but I've got some questions in my head. I'm gonna make notes in the car on the way there, and I will shortly introduce you to him. Oh, thank you, Avon. I just had a lovely delivery, another delivery of flowers. Um, it's been a bit of a flower week. I'm not gonna complain, I feel a bit like Elton John. Uh, and actually, that's not me getting loads of flowers, that's me buying them as well. After I saw Kate Somerville, I was so excited, I walked past a flower stall and bought myself a huge bunch of white hydrangeas and two bunches of peonies. They're now in the hallway with candles. I don't know who I'm turning into. Um, and my living room is fairly clean. Normally my living room is the sock pile of death, shoes everywhere, people's plates I haven't taken out, and it involves me just screaming at people. Take your plates out, you won't, you won't drag up, you won't break, you know, you know what it's like. But now, the room is clean, it's full of flowers, and I'm ready for my peaceful weekend vlogging and watching telly. Let's hope it actually happens this week though. Right, I'm in the studio with Dr. Murad is over there. We're about to sit down and do some filming. I feel so rude just pointing in that direction. <laughs> um, we're going to sit down and do a quick video now. But the, well, I, I think I need a proper studio. Look at this light, Zoe. Everywhere you turn is like good I'm light. <laughs> They're all like, yeah, we're not amateurs, Caroline. We do this for a living. <laughs> so Joe's here and the doc's here and Ian is here, Joe's photographer, and Zoe's here from Murad. And we're, we've all decided we're actually going to stay in this room because the light. <laughs> This is the same light as Trini's flat. Trini's flat is like just nothing but good light. So this is a lovely way to spend a Friday afternoon. Not bad. Absolutely. Nice where's cakes? Where's tea? Where's, yeah, exactly. I'm being good. Joe wants cake. Right, just got home. Max has got a present in the post. What is it? I don't know. Well, open it and see. Right, go on. Oh, careful with that, please. Is it basically just a huge box of crisps? Hang on. Oh, God. Oh, my God, they're massive sizes. Look. Well, what do you say to the people from McCoy's? Thank you. <laughs> How are we, what, are they all different? I haven't seen these ones before. Uh, Chips, oh, chip shop curry sauce. curry sauce, salt and vinegar. Daniel will have the curry sauce ones. Well, thanks, McCoy. That's the face of a happy child on a Friday night. Hi everyone, I'm going to finish this vlog. I think I just wiped off a final little clip of me with Dr. Murad and Joe from Woman and Home. I might try and slip in something I put on Instagram stories instead. What an idiot. Um, I will see you next week. This weekend is gonna be spent food shopping and editing and trying to get just as organized as I was this week for next week. I'm coming to you from Max's bedroom, by the way. Um, and I will, yes, I'll see you next week. Loads more going on, hopefully. I don't think I'll be meeting like, you know, Trini, Kate Somerville and Dr. Murad next week, but hopefully it will still be of interest. See you soon.